gold as i mentioned in my yesterday's analysis in fact both the analysis yesterday i told you the very strong support zone for gold like just at 1980 1990 levels it is going to get maximum resistance and precisely we have seen gold going till towards 1981 82 and bouncing back again at the same time silver too has got the support at around 24 70 75 zone now what to expect today which position you should take trading gold and silver we will see with the help of charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis this is the first update for the day second update will be released before the us session to watch that also let's start first we we'll look into gold followed with silver do watch till the end now look at the hourly chart see it is very simple drop retracement drop retracement drop retracement drop retracement drop retracement so uh, this is a classical movement gold is showing and right now also you can see after the slight drop it is retraced here and now again trying to look downwards so first where you should buy see it has to break past 2000 2005 levels in order to confirm a reversal but yes you can buy here at 1996 levels also however remember 2000 2005 is the level it needs to break in order to confirm reversal till the time it stays below 2005 possibly we may see more bearishness and then on the larger picture if it, uh, for the week it is 2020 20 levels it needs to break in order to confirm the reversal there so till then we cannot say that it is reverse but yes you can probably enjoy a little profits going long at around 1995 levels so now what can you see here see a uh, 1995 definitely a good resistance for it to break past by now look at this here see it has got its support at 1998 you can see the previous support here from where the retracement has started and right now also it is getting the support at same levels and hence you can initiate a sell entry at around these levels which is around 1988 however remember this time again 1980 this is a very very good support zone and i have told you yesterday i am retracing it again 1990 1980 zone is a very good support because below that it is going to slide more and it is going to slide hard the stochastic on the early charts is looking down the macd on the early charts is see this is a second crossover this is trading with very little divergence and this can bring little bullishness because see it has dropped hard and now trading at a comfortable rather you can say at a slightly lower levels there could be a slight pullback or recovery on the early charts and hence you can buy here at 1995 that is also possible see the day is big uh, almost 16 hours of trading left in front of us for the day it can show you good swings and hence we have to trade with caution and we have to trade both the sides see rsi trying to look down here and if you look at 2r chart on the 2r chart so similar is the phenomena what we are observing here and this is precisely a very channel the lows right now are first support at 1980 and below that 1970 see uh, till 1940 it has got support at every 10 dollars we have to ensure that we are keep book, you have to keep booking profits and keep re-entering if you see it trading uh in the same direction again now look at two hour charts also here is after retracement now it is looking forward to a drop this is the first red candle possibly second and third red candle may follow but we have to be watchful see this complete movement till the time it keeps itself and girl between this candle see also remember it has completed the journey here i told you yesterday also see this is the a liquidity gap here and it might try to fill this gap by moving downwards and see that is what has happened it has come close to this support levels from where this rally has started and hence these levels are going to remain a pretty strong support for gold for the day so this is something you should watch out for the stock i stick on the 2 hour charts is looking up also look at the 2 hour charts see this is there is a macd crossover which is expected here and a crossover here from the lower levels possibly might bring little more uh, bullishness rsi is also trading flat near to bottom here now look at 3 hr chart on the 3 hr chart so similar observation this rally is completely now you can say has been erased and you can say this liquidity gap is fulfilled the prices have come down to same levels from where the rally has started now also if you look at that is try to retrace and now showing a reversal on the 3 hr chart the next candle will decide which direction it wants to go it may try to give you an increasing bearish candle if it stays below 1988 then and then only further bearishness is confirmed 
at the same time staying above 1995 certainly we can find more bullishness there where it can try to achieve 2000 2005 levels a stock i'll stick almost flat macd here is bearish and it is trying to converge and see with this little move it is almost completed the journey here see the candle size is almost flat and then it is now looking forward to converge crossover i'll wait for the crossover in order to confirm the bullishness the rsi has dropped a bit and if you look at 4 hour charts similar is the observation most importantly i should watch out for where this candle closes see these two candles also body size was diminished and this time it is going to give it further smaller body and the next candle if it opens above and continues to trade bullish possibly it can try to retrace a little 1995 2000 levels can be seen there and if you look at the stock i stick flat the macd is bearish and it is looking forward to converge the candle size is flattened here the rsi is flat look at daily charts on the daily chart see the 20 period simple moving average given it a very strong support and i told you yesterday also 1980 is a very very good support and see uh after a reversal sign these three red candles and see the complete movement is now erased and still and it is now back to this consolidation zone so this is going to be a very strong support zone also if you look at see after this one greener step this is the first red candle and it carries a tail there so there is a possibility that it can stretch this and in fact give you higher lows that, that is one probability and if it breaks below 1980 then only you can confirm that it is going to give you a sharper bearish move taking it till towards 60 uh, 1970 1960 level so second red candle in succession can be expected be careful of 1980 75 70 and 60 a stock has stick dropping macd here has crossed over trading with divergence looking bearish looking down this is the second crossover at the top there hence it can try to bring little more bearishness the rsi looking down considering this you can sell here at 1988 and expect it to draw for 19 85 80 75 70 and below that 1960 50 40 40 uh, see after 40 it is 20 dollars gap 1920 the first target and then below that 1900 1870 levels to be seen there take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss on the upside uh reversal confirmation is only about 2020 levels however you can buy here at 2005 levels 95 levels also expect 2000 2005 as the first targets and then 2010 2020 at the next targets beyond that is sky is the limit on the upside now let's have a look at silver and yes if you want to learn this art of trading profitably join my mentorship batch 21 it starts on 17th of april reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id is mentioned in the channel and video description also you can be part of my signals group trading as per the signals definitely you can benefit now look at the early charts for silver see silver is the one which is so far trading in a very very tight narrow range you can say Yesterday also I defined twenty five twenty five dollar levels. You should definitely watch out for and twenty four seventy on the downside. And precisely, it is confined its movement within the same levels. It failed to break past seventy on the downside. Yes, it tried to break a uh, twenty five dollar levels for one. However, failed to stay above twenty five and breach. Uh, uh, immediately tried to move down. And also, if you look at early charts, see after consolidating a retracement and now again looking down. Yes, you can sell here at twenty eighty. However, twenty seventy five is something you should wait for it to break and twenty seventy. If these two levels are taken, more bearishness is going to be seen in silver. Stock I stick looking down. MACD flat at bottom. RSI trying to look down and show little bearishness. And if you look at two hour chart, similar is the observation on the two hour chart. See, there is lot much of liquidity gap yet to be fulfilled. However, look at silver's movement. see a big bullish breakout consolidation and then again it can try to give a breakout and hence any move above 25 certainly you can buy there expect till 25 20 we have to be excessively cautious only above 25 20 you can expect that it is going to rally again 25 50 25 80 26 dollar levels a stock i stick looking up again macd is bearish but it is looking forward to converge crossover rsi is flat trying to look down trying to trade bearish here look at 3 hour chart similar is the observation look at 20 period moving average giving it a very strong support there right now is stationed at 2480 and 2475 level so certainly this zone is a, a no trade zone right now we can see it consolidating here let it give a breakout this is a breakout either which is stock i stick at bottom macd bearish here trading with divergence rsi is also dropped a bit looking down and if you look at four hour chart similar is the observation nothing different 
the stochastic here is also looking down the MACD here is interestingly quite bearish it is looking down here and see without any significant movement of the prices the MACD has cooled down strongly RSA is also looking down here trying to trade moderately bearish now look at the daily chart see on the daily charts we had seen lower highs lower lows trying to form a flag here the bottom of this at around 24.50 levels and hence once you see trading below 24.75, 24.70 uh, zone you, you can stay short for 24.50 and below that probably more bearishness is going to be seen than 24.20, $24 levels can be expected. In fact you can sell here at 24.80, expect 24.75, 24.70 as a major support and below that only further bearishness can be seen. On the upside you have to be watchful of 25 again. Any rise above 25, certainly you can buy, expect 25.05, 25.10 levels. And yes, if you see it trading about 25.20, stay long. See, silver traded overbought for multiple days. On a stock stick, the MACD is also willing to cross over for itself. Right now, it is still bullish. The RSI is also overbought and hence silver is ready for a dip there. You can stay short below 24.80, be cautious till 24.70 and below that it is going to give you a hard drop. Take your trades accordingly, trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Join my mentorship badge, join my signals channel. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day. Thank you.